We're coming to you live from the Fader <laughs> Fort in Brooklyn right I'm now. I'm Isabel. I'm Derek. And we're humpbacks. From here. <laughs> well, I had a weird entrance into all that stuff. I got introduced to metal first, which has similar elements in a weird way. So I found out about, um, you know, like Gorguts and bands like that. They're Canadian. And... Um, that really got me into playing music. And then I started to find out about bands like Carp and stuff like that, which was like a huge thing. Like when I found out about Carp, it was like a mind numbing thing. And Godhead Silo was also like super dope. Um, there was a bunch of bands like that um, that I was like really, really into. And there was a lot of local bands because I grew up outside of uh, Philadelphia. So there was tons of bands that were like super in that kind of like range that were just like really like noise based like blowhole or something like that that I just would find out about and get really excited so that was for me like I was definitely really into punk I think growing up um, I was super into Iggy Pop I was obsessed with like the Stooges and then Iggy Pop and even like MC5 at some point I was into um, I I got introduced to Susie who I love and is one of my favorites ever but like like I got introduced to her through punk first, you know, like the beginning of her career when she had like really short hair and stuff and I was like super into it and I remember watching like, you know, videos of them playing live and and then like Nirvana and Sonic Youth. Melvins. Melvins for sure. Piss Jeans. Well, Piss Jeans is more from now, of yeah, course. Yeah, they're from now. They're really good. Yeah, I they're love good. Piss Jeans and the Sensei too. I think they're awesome. I just like, I like punk because I like aggressive music because I like, I think music is a good way of like, I don't know expressing yourself and I think it's mm -hmm. cool to express anger somehow. Yeah.